Developers sales more than quintupled to a near two-year high of 1,412 private residential units. In July, turbocharged by four non-landed project launches that month. But some analysts warn that the lackluster performance of five other new launches so far in August. Amid a souring macroeconomic environment, higher interest rates and property curbs could foreshadow slower sales in the coming months. The rebound in July's new private home sales from just 278 units in June was fueled by four launches, Grand Dunman. Lente Hills Residences, Pine Tree Hill in Ulu Pandan and the Miss in Upper Bukit Timer, which collectively accounted for about 82% of sales on a year-on-year -year basis. Sales were up by 69% from 836 units in July 2022. Including executive condominiums ECs, July sales dumped 395% to 1,471 units from 297 in June and up 73% from 848 a year ago. There were no ECs launched in July. The number of units launched in July jumped to a two-and-a-half-year high of 2,156 units from just 31 units in June and surged 428% from 408 units a year ago. According to data released by the Urban Redevelopment Authority on Tuesday, in the first two weeks of August, five new projects, Altura EC, Orchard Sophia, the Arden, the Lake Garden Residences and TMW Maxwell were launched as some developers rushed to put out their projects before the Hungry Ghost Month starts on Wednesday. Hutton's Asia Senior Research Director Li Zi Tech noted, while July sales had been stellar, sentiment has softened significantly in view of weaker sales so far for these five August launches. Say Ms. Tricia Song, Head of Research for Southeast Asia at CBRE. Elchera sold 220 units, 61%, and the Lake Garden Residences moved 71 units, 23%, while the three other new launches over the past weekend managed to sell only a total of 53 units. Miss Song noted. The worst performing projects were in the Prime District, Orchard Sophia, sold 19 or 24% of its 78 units and TMW Maxwell sold 7 or 2% of its 324 units. The Arden in the suburbs sold 27 or 26% of 105 units, she said. We believe pent-up demand has been mostly absorbed and genuine buyers are spoiled for choice. Prices have moved up significantly. Some projects that are targeted at investors or foreign buyers will face some resistance after the additional buyer's stamp duty was hiked to 60% for foreigners, Miss Song said. Edmund Tai's head of research and consulting Lam Chen Woon noted that take-up rates for new launches at 66% in July were broadly similar to that of May which saw take-up rates of 65%. But these take-up rates are markedly lower than those in the first part of 2023, which were closer to 100%, he said. Mogul.sg Chief Research Officer Nicholas Mack said high take-up rates for new launches may not be sustainable. Based on the sales performance of three residential projects launched over the August 12th weekend, such as TMW Maxwell, home buyers are becoming more selective and price sensitive. He said. Furthermore, the new record prices of some new launches are beyond the reach of most HDB upgraders, who typically prefer to buy three bedroom units for their families. Mr. Mack added. Foreign demand is needed to absorb the new supply of expensive homes, especially those in the prime district and the city fringe. But Mr. Lam noted that the share of private home purchases by foreigners. Post-April's round of cooling measures, 
dropped further to 1.5% in July, from 2.4% in June and 3.7% in May. In particular, the share of foreign purchases in the city fringe fell more significantly to 1.5% in July, from 2.7% in June, he said. Meanwhile, the city fringe accounted for 59% of total new sales in July, due to strong sales at Grand Dunman and Pine Tree Hill. While the prime district accounted for the remaining 6% and the suburbs 35%. The 1,008-unit Grand Dunman was the top seller in July, moving 549 units at a median price of $2.519 PSF, while Pine Tree Hill sold 150 units at a median price of $2,360 PSF, Propnex said. New private home sales in the suburbs skyrocketed to 488 units in July, from just 19 in June. Due to Lente Hills residences, which sold 333 units at a median price of $2,107 PSF, and the Mist, which transacted 127 units at a median price of $2,056 pounds per square foot. An absence of new launches in the Prime District resulted in a 21% drop in July's sales to 88 units month-on-month, month, the lowest monthly tally for this segment since 89 units were transacted in December 2022. Propnex said. Propnex head of research and content Wang Suing expects that transactions excluding ECs could ease in August due to fewer units offered that month, especially after the start of the Hungry Ghost month and as buyers take their time amid ample new supply.